Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we will solve exercise 2a. Exercise 2a number 1. Write down all the prime numbers between 10 and 20. First, we have to know what is prime number. So, prime number. Prime number. So, what is the definition of the prime number? Actually, the definition of the prime number is prime number has only two factors, one and itself. So, how many prime, how many factors are there? Prime number has only two factors, one and itself. This is the simplest definition of the prime number. So, now we have to see the example. So first we can see 2 is a prime number and listen this 2 is one and only even prime number. Then next prime number is odd prime number that is 3 then 5 then 7 then 11 then 13 17 and 19. You can say you can find out the prime number in that way. Now listen. So, what is the definition of the prime number? Prime number has only two factors, 1 and itself. So, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19 are prime number. And if you find out the factors of 2, the factors of 3, the factors of 5, the factors of 7, you will get only two factors. Suppose if you want to find out the factors of 19, you will get only two factors, 1 and 19. Similarly, if you want to find out the factors of 17 you will get only 1 and 17 if you want to find out the factors of 13 you will get only 1 and 13 in that way you can find out the prime number now we have already know the definition of the prime number now first one write down all the prime numbers between 10 and 20 so we will find out how many prime numbers are there between 10 and 20 so between 10 and 20, you can say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So, there are some numbers. So, we have to find out the prime numbers between that number. Now, we have already said 2 is only one even prime number. So, other even numbers are not prime number. That means we can say 10 is not a prime, 12 is not a prime, 14 is not a prime, 16 is not a prime, 18 is not a prime, 20 is not a prime. So, we have only 5 numbers left. Now, if I look at this 15, so this 15 can be divisible by 5 and 3. How? If I want to uh, add the digit of 15, 1 plus 5, that is 6, 6 can be divisible by 3. That means 15 is also divisible by 3. And we have also seen that uh, in 15, at 15, the unit digit is 5. Since the num any numbers, unit digit is 5, that, that number can be divisible by 5. So 15 cannot be a prime number. Now, there are only four numbers left 11 13 17 and 19 and if you want to find out the factor of individual number you will get only two factor so that is uh, if you want to find out the factor of 11 you will get 1 and 11 if you want to find out the factor of 13 you will get 1 and 13 if you want to find out the factor of 17 you will get 1 and 1 and 17 and if you want to find out the factors of 19 you will get 1 and 19 so, you can say prime numbers between 10 and 20 will be 11, 13, 17, and 19. There are only 4 prime numbers between 10 and 20. Now, number 2. Number 2 says, give the prime factors of 12, 36, and 16. So, you can solve this problem in two ways. Now, number one, uh, 12. So, you can 
first you have to, you can find out the all factors then you will uh, select the prime factor so that is you know we can divide this 12 so uh, by 1 that means 1 into 12 that is 12 we can divide this 12 by 2 so 2 times 6 that is 12 we can divide this 12 by 3 that means 3 times 4 that is 12 okay so in that thing we can say factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 12 and the what is the prime factor here here 2 and 3 only prime factor here 2 and 3 are only two prime factor of 12 so you can solve this problem in another way to 12 by division method you know you can divide this 12 by 2 we have to divide this number by prime number since 12 is the even number so we can divide this 12 by 2 so 12 by 2 that is 6 we can divide this 6 by 2 again then we will get 3 then you you will see that there is only two prime number that is 2 and 3 so we can say prime factors prime factors prime factors of of 12 are 2 and 3 only two prime factors are there now next one next one says 36 36 so 36 so you can divide this 36 by 2 because 36 is a even number so you can divide this 36 by 2 that means this is 18 you can divide this 18 by 2 so that is 9 you can divide this 9 by 3 that is 3 so here are i i'll uh, i've already seen that there are only two prime factors are there only two and three so we can say prime factors of 36 are two and three only two prime factors are there two and three we have to find out individual prime factor so there are two two then two three so we can say prime factors of 36 are two and three now our next one 60 60 we can divide this 60 by 2 then we can say that that will be 30 we can divide this 30 by 2 that will be 15 we can divide this 15 by 3 that will be 5 so we can say prime factors of 60 are only 2 3 5 only three prime numbers are there 2 3 5 so prime factors of 60 are 2 3 5 now number 3 number 3 says what prime numbers are factors of 100 so we have to find out the prime numbers some prime numbers which one are factors of 100 similar type of way we have to find out prime factor so that is you know we can divide this 100 by 2 then we will get 50 here because this one is even so we have to divide this by an even prime number and that is only 2 again 50 by 2 we will get 25 25 is odd so we have to uh, look forward to next prime number that is odd prime number so we can divide this 25 by 5 then 5 5 is 25 so we can say prime factors of 100 are prime factors prime factors of 100 of 100 are 2 comma 5 now number four number four says what numbers less than 100 are divisible by seven number four so to find out the numbers less than 100 which are divisible by seven just we can see only the multiples of seven because you know what is multiples if we want to multiply any number by one two three four five six seven says that the result will be the multiples seven times one that is seven seven times two that is fourteen seven times three that is twenty one seven times four that is twenty eight 
7 times 5, that is 35. 7 times 6, that is 42. 7 times 7, that is 49. 7 times 8, that is 56. 7 times 9, that is 63. And 7 times 10, that is 70. Then 7 times 11, that is 77. 7 times 12, that is, uh, you know, 84. And 7 times 13, that is 91. So, we can see this 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 91. All numbers are less than 100. Okay? And every number, every this number, every number are divisible by 7. So, now we can say the answer will be the multiples of 7. And that is obviously less than 100. So just multiples of 7 means we have to know the timetable of 7. That is, you know, 7 on the 7, 7 to the 14, 7 to the 21, 7 to the 28, 7 to the 35, 7 to the 42, 7 to the 49, 7 to the 56, 7 to the 63, 7 to the 70, 7 to the 77, 7 to the 84, 7 to the 91. So, these all numbers are divisible by 7. Now, number 5. Number 5 says, can a prime number end with the figure 5? To understand this problem, we have to learn something. That is, you know, uh, 5 is a prime number. We have already know. Because why 5 is a prime number? Because 5 has only two factors, one in itself. That's why we can say 5 is a prime number. But a number ends with the figure 5. That is a prime number? No. Why? Because suppose if I write 15 or 20, uh, 25 or 35 or 45 or 55. Look at this. Every number, if you see every number, every number's unit digit is 5. You can say every number ends with the figure 5. And every number which, is, which ends with the figure 5 is divisible by 5. That means these numbers cannot be an five, cannot be a prime number. These numbers cannot be a prime number. So we can say a prime number end with the figure five is not possible. So answer will be no. So thank you very much for watching the class. See you soon. Allah Hafiz.